Hey kids, welcome back to another stream. It's Wednesday today. Yeah, that's right. Wednesday, 22 November. Oh, well, you all got a clock on your computer, so you're cool with the date and time. My name is John Bartman. I do live streaming of music composition like everybody else online, except I also do a sort of behind the scenes how to make these music templates. So I'm just going to take you on a little tour of my Patreon Right now, I dropped this tune, Happy Clappy, yesterday. And uh, yeah, I'm getting to like one or two a week now, which is quite cool. The idea here behind this whole enterprise is um, to make the music production you know, journey much easier to enter. If you are a music producer, sometimes you get stuck starting from scratch. So I've got this growing library of templates that allow you to um, basically work on stuff that I've spent a lot of time working on and then really packaged down into an easy tendencies, no missing VSTs, no missing samples, nothing like that. So that's the idea behind it and uh, yeah, just picking up on it. You guys know the drill, you're probably here every day, so nice to see you again. Um, do consider joining the Patreon or if you just want to grab the free stuff, I'm working on growing that bundle to link in the YouTube description. Today, kids, let's get down to work. Yesterday, let's start with what we did yesterday, and I'm going to play it for you right now. Ready? Here we go. Hmm. Deliciously romantic. Drop a chat. I'd love to know what you're up to. I enjoy chatting to people while I work. Hmm, this is actually not too bad. This production. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of a gap I could fill here. starts again so it's designed to be a loop it's for a game if you're not familiar with what I'm doing these days there's an action adventure game that I'm scoring um, release date TBD uh, just getting on with the work clients named David maybe that's you watching right now hey David I've just decided that this instrument which I've been using the trumpet is the wrong choice we need something smoother so I've got options for articulations in that over here None of them are really going to work. I'm not even sure what those dials do. So let's try something different. Not too hard, fortunately, to switch out the instrument. All you got to do is find the one you want. So I'm going to open up the browser and head over to the session. Here we go. Woodwind Solo. In fact, let's let's see what Forzo can do. Forzo is it might be a bit of overkill, but um, We've got options for all of these We've got horn sort of patches, horns, one horns, nah. Actually this isn't going to be an option because we've got multiple, let's hear how it sounds, let's hear how it sounds. I'm just thinking we've got, this is a horn section library which I'm currently loading up uh, called Forza, it's great, it's really one of the greatest. And um, it it allows these big lush sounds, the kind of, you know, very cinematic vibe, but maybe not suitable for a lonely solo trumpet. So here we go. I'm going to mute off the original sound, the Cuba trumpet. And now this should not be loading and the reason that it should not be playing. Reason for that is we're on MIDI channel 2. So let me switch over to MIDI channel 2 on my keyboard. And there we've got a really soft sounding Forzo. Let's pump it up. See, that sounds to me like an ensemble. It's not really suitable. And the other thing is, is it's not really a trumpet either. It's a horn patch. So it's probably French or English horns. So I'm going to can that. I do happen to know that we have another horn. Like a good composer, I've got multiple options. <laughs> so brass solo is 
the option that I'm thinking of. Let's go with horn one essential. Again, not a trumpet. We can try the trumpet, but let's just try first horn one. Cool. We've got brass solo patch, and here's what horn one sounds like. Very soft, take it up. That's not too bad. Let's just play along with it for a bit and see if that can work. Here we go. I think we're in A. We're in A. It's in G, sorry. Okay, I really need to hike up that volume a little bit. Let's max it out in the actual patch and then we can control it on the... There we go, cool. going to play because I don't have the right MIDI channel. So let's just say Omni. Okay, now that lick over there, I stole it from Stompin' at the Savoy, you might be able to hear. Stompin' at the Savoy, of course, is a jazz standard classic. Two problems. One, it's an octave lower than I'd like, and secondly, it, the articulation isn't really working for me. You do have this legato switch, so let's try to turn that on. Much better. Great. Now let's see if we can solve the other problem, which is it's too low. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, brute force this with an octave hike. So what, what I mean by that is take everything up, up an octave. Playback. Doesn't sound too bad. Okay, let's hear it in the mix and just with the cello and everything else. modulation on the swell. Okay, not too bad. I'm actually kind of happy with that. Um, just out of interest, I'm also going to try out the trumpet for the same part. actually sounds better already. Let's take it to legato, hear how it sounds in the mix. Alright, that might be the one, yeah. Alright, lovely stuff. <laughs> My darling, it feels like it has been years since I wrote you last. Although it has only been minutes. The postman collected our letter just 20 minutes ago. Already I am compelled and cannot wait for another day for his arrival to courier my love to you. In this, my most heartfelt letter. Okay, that sort of works. I might have to play back that little sketch I just did later tonight just for my own entertainment. Dudes, long story short, we have a winner. Cuba Trumpet can be killed. Oops, don't save changes. Damn, I just already did. And there we go, cool. So we're gonna change this name to Trumpets, and it is the Trumpet Solo. And I'm happy with that if everyone else is. Fantastic, let's move on. While we're in the little, uh, the gap now I'm waiting for something to load uh, don't forget my goal here is to take this passion of mine this musical production passion which I've been done doing for so long and to kind of just you know spread it out over the community and make it you know something valuable to people other than myself I do need coins to do that and the more coins I get obviously the more effort I'm going to put into this and kind of just I want to I want to share this music with people I want to make people's musical journey easier and easier so if you feel inspired to support like so many people have done through the, all the sales and all the messages that I've made over the years do uh, head over to patreon see what's on offer get in there early you can be my first patron if you want and I would appreciate that and sing your praises for all time 
the link is in the description okay so romance i'm gonna check that off the box for now we've got a kind of uh oh are you already dude is this you writing david are you already updating this sheet this is so meta okay melody trumpet's really cool strings make it sappy melody and jazz, jazz club feel sparse piano double bass and trumpet yeah oh i didn't even add bass that's right i've got to add bass cool that's yesterday's session cool so david's very very on on task here brother cool let us go over to the next piece i will circle back to those changes for now we want to get a first draft of everything you won't be able to hear this but i'm listening to a reference track now which is apparently by tchaikovsky and it's got a harp in it that's nice Cool. Good. Well, one, two, three, six. That was a four, and now four, one. Okay, reunion. Okay, so the brief for this, what I'm listening to now, is a piece of music which is a reference track for the piece that I'm about to write. And we've got some other notes here. This might be a variation of romance. Some of these moods seem quite similar. So it might be we come up with some ideas and then match them to these moods. For example, when Ella Anna reunites with familiar faces. Okay, good. Yes, I do like the fact that we've got a separate piece for romance because romance is a very well established and also a bit too minor, a bit too sappy, exactly. Um, but reunion can be a little bit more triumphant and sort of more hopeful I guess um, so let's start with um, let's start with some block piano chords here's how I'm going to do this I'm going to noodle around with piano which is the, the best starting instrument for any composer I think of any era because it just translates so well into other instruments like for example if you have a guitar you're going to struggle Sometimes composing on the guitar, you struggle to articulate things that can then be played on more polyphonic instruments like piano, harpsichord, accordion, whatever, um, just because of the limitation of the notes. But piano, it's almost like the full picture. It's like a patch bay. You see it all, and then you can reduce it down to other parts and instruments. That's how I see it, at least. Ten tones. Okay, let's get on, kids. We've got a... Piece of music to write. I'm going to call it Reunion. Da, 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 da. I'm going to set the BPM to this. Three, four. Just by feel, we're going to go 124 BPM. No, and we've got to change the um, key signature to 4 4. Okay, that's good. Now I want to just make sure that the marker for this is. Yeah, there. And we started over there with another marker. And we're going to just. Demarcate four bars, sorry, 16 bars, and that can be that. Cool. Da, 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 da. Now comes the fun part actually getting in to the playing. Okay. I just feel B flat. Suddenly I just had this flash of inspiration. This has to be a B flat tune. arpeggios I'm playing now will be handled by a harp instrument. Just trying to get a feel for it. No, that was the seventh, we don't want that. Ch -ch 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 
Okay, this thing is kind of getting in the way. Let's stick it up there. It'd be so cool if you could do your day job, but like switch keyboards. So instead of using the QWERTY keyboard to, you know, write an email, you could just be like... And then you could send. Um, cool. So let's keep going with it. Chord progression is going to be this. She's heating up now. Reunion, reunion. How do you convey reunion musically? It's just definitely warmth and happiness. We're going to keep it in this major tonality. so you don't get the key sounds. Here we go. Let's do a take. I'm gonna just give it a bash. Here we go. Uh, din, 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 din. Okay, so we just need to get a bit of a bit of a run up to the take and punch and record is on. Three, four, click is on. Two, three, four. There we go. And one, two, three, four. something there. Now let 
does get into the next phase, which I think I've got a hop in here somewhere. I'm gonna get a hop. Do I have a hop? Set up? No. Okay. I had a, uh, what is Lafrigia? I think Lafrigia is a big collection. I don't want that. Uh, what I want is... Not bad. Let me loop that in the background. Just get some, uh, get it into my head. So I'm gonna stick that over there. Loop that around the cup. While I'm browsing around here, feel free to take a listen. If you just join, drop a chat. I love hearing what you guys are up to. I love just connecting with people while I work. And right now, I'm gonna look for a hop. I'm gonna go hop hunting. Um, the database might have. that easily. Uh, I think I know where to get it. There's a standalone harp instrument somewhere in my somewhere in my library. Curses, where have I put it? Searching, searching. No. I want this to be diddle 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 diddle. Yeah, I don't want it to be dong. I want it to be. That must be. So I'm just re-recording some stuff real quick. Okay, I've just got the velocities a little bit wrong, but I'll do some velocity compression on that in a bit. Cool. Uh, a little correction there. Getting quicker at that, seeing as I've been streaming every day for three weeks now. If you like what I'm up to, hit, hit subscribe. Drop me a chat. Let me know what you're doing. It's very interesting to uh, to hear what type of people this this channel and this content attract. Um, yeah, I'm just happy to be here, you know, getting to work on this music for an hour a day, learning where all my library stuff is, and uh, you know, just kind of making things smoother and easier. Now, I did have a... There is one way to find this thing that I'm trying to find, which is a harp. And it involves opening up a really long project, which is going to take... Or, big project which is going to take a long time to load so I don't want to do that live on stream so I'm going to circle back to the harp and see if I can come up let's do like take the suggestion now of doing a different sketch so I'm going to call that sketch one let's move on to sketch two so this is a totally different piece of music that we're now going to write and hopefully find something that uh, con conveys this sense of reunion that's what we're trying to do here okay sort of tempo one just got a different feel to it e4 one two, let's just do a nice f minor okay not bad let's get that recorded one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. I've got to turn on record. Turn on punch out record. Go. Sorry, a little bit of two. It's the cool thing about streaming is that it does put pressure on you to get things right and to focus. 
from the archives of the great unknown from the mysterious source of all things comes another piece of music and here what I want to do now is just give it a listen I like that hammer on flat, B flat minor, G minor, it's 9, F, 11, sus, sus 2, sorry, C sus 2, C, F, F, okay, cool, I've got the progression, so now we're going, are we going F, G minor, F, G minor, up, to, up high, to B flat, to B flat minor, G minor, it's nine. To C sus two, to C seven. That's the progression. Okay, so we can work with that. It's a bit more gentle than the previous one, which is more like where well, you're running to meet someone. You know, the train's just you know the train's just arrived and you're running to meet your loved one. This one is more just like a, oh, you know, you bump into them a coffee in a coffee shop and you didn't realize they were in town or something. I don't know. Okay, so we've got option two. Do, 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 do. Cool. Because just for reference, we've got um, option one and option two. So let, let's flesh it out a little bit. I do believe in giving David a picture of where this might go instrumentation wise so it's like having it's like adding color to a sketch and you can do that by adding some strings cool all right here we go hold pedals on gentle but it's also not terribly jazzy but I think it looks like we're straying away from strict you know jazz as a as a um, genre here we can do some slightly around the edges type stuff so that's what we're doing now all right cool kids just a reminder if you're new to the channel I thrive on new subscribers I'm aiming for a thousand subs on YouTube I'm on 952 help me get there hit the uh, subscribe button and uh, show up for my daily streams weekdays 2 p.m. UTC so mornings in the States if you're interested in getting your gay going game going <laughs> or if you're interested in getting your gay going that's also fine with a little bit of music in the morning I'm gonna do a rec record a part here strings for this part to a B flat B flat minor G minor C sus4 there we go sus2 no not sus4 problem I have now is check if I hit if I hit undo 
I'm going to undo the whole recording, aren't I? Yes, I am. And I can't actually... I've got a problem with Reaper. I don't know how to solve it. I'm not going to try to do it on stream, but... There's some, uh, some demons in the mix here. Okay. For now, let's do it manually. We're going to start off this recording with a... Boom. F. And it should actually be... Yeah, like that. Cool. Let's take it back to the start. There we go. with the, uh, I think the hold pedal. Uh, that should just be there. Okay. Good, not bad as a sketch goes. This can be used for sad, maybe, or perhaps reunion, we don't know yet. I'm going to state that I intend it for reunion and as I write that I am conscious of the fact that this might actually work better for sad let's check it out have we got a moment here for sadness arrival okay big arrival moments I think I know what to do there embarrassing silly suspicion unlocked key clue these are the current moments that we've got to we've got to get going so um, nothing for anything terribly sad Nothing, none of this really, it doesn't really fit anywhere, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it if it doesn't have a destination. And also, it's not really sad, it's more like sort of bittersweet, you know, like uh, the word is tender, I believe. So let's just put that in there as reunion option. Okay. Cool. Now, I do want to move on, because I'm just in the moment of, you know, writing just getting through the stuff tension and suspense we've done well we've done scary chases and countdown okay so we've got to figure out how to do chase and that is running away from villains slash wild animals there's at least one chase on the ship and one in the rainforest around zambia okay so immediately when i hear rainforest or even ship it's about exotic locations so i'm going to start a new one here called chase and the first thing I want to do is start to focus on the drums. Drums, rhythm, that is what dominates chasing. Chase sequences at least. So let us get into that. I'm going to do a bit of cleaning up first. Just delete tracks that aren't being used. And we've got all that stuff. Cool. Right at this point, let's add in a... <clears throat> I'm going to add in a... Um, it's gonna have to be the, I think Cineperk is the best one for this. Evolve does have some percussion loops which are nice because they're generative, but let's just try Cineperk Ethnic 1. Give it a second to load, and I'm just trying to think where else we could go with this. I'm, look, I'm thinking of congas or bongo drums as a starting point for this. We can create this intense rhythm. Brass is also good. Brass swells. Also some kind of like finger symbols or uh, claves, you know, like very light, high frequency. That kind of thing. Either way, these are very fun libraries to scroll through. So let us take a look at what we have here. Now, all of these patches you see on the right are mapped to different MIDI channels. So if I change over from MIDI 1, for example, let's play through some of these um, devices. And I want all of them just one at a time, please. And maybe I'll just have to read this quick. 
Send it to the pre-master and not to the master. Cool. Let's get rid of that. Bongo, is it playing? It actually is. There we go. So we've got some bongo sounds. This is exactly what I'm looking for, by the way, bongo. So, in the higher register over here, and let's just zoom up so you can see it. These are the sounds we're working with, the palette. And the blue notes on the keyboard over here are where we are able to the samples that are referenced. So here, sometimes if you click and hold, click and hold, <laughs> if you play the piano keyboard and hold it down, you get rolls like this, which are really valuable for creating tension and resolving to, resolving to hits, which are these guys here. And our pro bongo player will tell you exactly what all those is, what all those are. I know there are different types of hits, like slaps and finger rolls and things. I'm not going to get too deep into it. Right, right, right now what I need is just a kind of demo for client to see if I'm going in the right direction. We do know that the tempo is going to have to be fairly pacey, being a... Turns out it's only 120. You would think it's going to be like 150 or something, but 127 is the tempo. So let's get back to where we were, just starting with that idea of a couple of rolls every four bars. And then finding a suitable... slap combination I see all the rolls are B flats that's quite useful they've categorized it so that notes correspond by octave cool oh these, these samples are so beautiful the center perk is amazing looking for now is I'm just listening out for a very obvious sounding roll sequence. So it's the same with I'm hitting the G notes across octaves now and they are they work in pairs so if this was a bongo that would be one and that would be the other. Martin Avrik, Akervik. Hello Martin, hi, how are you doing? Thanks for stopping by and saying hi. Martin just left a comment in the chat. And uh, yeah, nice to see you. Nice to hear from you. What are you up to today? What brings you here? I'll tell you what I'm doing while we wait. I'm looking for a nice bongo roll. It's because I'm writing music for this um, action adventure game, this point and click game about an orphan called Anna, who's a very spirited young journalist or investigative figure, should I say. Okay, let's get a let's get a takedown. No faffing around. Down, two, three, three, four, one, two, three, four. there so now we've got a roll a, 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 we've got a nice um, sort of eight bar loop we can call it eight bars yeah okay so it's eight bars and I'm not going to do too much quantization on it because I don't want to lose all the human feel so let's just hit the uh, 
Oops, let's hit uh, quantizing, just so 50% quantize, just so it's a little bit tight, but not completely. And that's not going to work, sorry, I screwed that up because one. I've put the swing strength to minus 100, which it shouldn't be. So let's try that straight. Martin Arkovic, hello. I haven't been using, so Martin says, I haven't been using my Logic Pro X for a while. Not the best at it either. What software is this? Cool, well, that's totally cool. You're in the right place if you're into making music and you want it to be a bit easier. I uh, This program is called Reaper and it is fantastic. There are comparisons to be made with other software. I haven't used Logic, but I gather it's really good. Reaper, what it does really well is customization. It, al it allows you to um, create shortcuts and macros and even scripts for the program. And it's got a great community, like a support community. People um, like Evil Dragon uh, just love answering questions and helping people. And it's also really well priced. So it costs $60, that's the license, which allows you to have it for two upgrades, which is like years. So it's really, really much more affordable than Pro Tools and Logic and I recommend it highly. Downsides, it doesn't come with a lot of out-the-box sounds. So, for example, Ableton Live, which is great for just getting going compositionally, it's got a bunch of sounds, and uh, yeah, they're, they're all pretty good, especially for electronic stuff. What uh, Reaper does really well, though, is just it just allows you to like speed up your workflow because you're, you can prioritize the things that are important to you and you know create custom keyboard shortcuts and macros for them. So like for example, I do a lot of punch in and out recording. So I've got shortcuts Control Shift Q and Control Shift W, which change this little recording icon down here at the bottom, as you can see. Um, and that's just a really basic example of creating your own keyboard. You can do that in a lot of programs, but Reaper also just has support for a whole bunch of other stuff. Like it's it's definitely one of the uh, the up and coming doors. So yeah, if you're into it, learning new stuff, if you're into just making music, honestly find templates. Um, I say this because I make templates and have a Patreon for, for templates, but if, you, you know, if you're finding it hard to sit down and start a new project, that's probably because you've got the blank page syndrome. What you want is to just import something that works into your door and then just see how other people do it. See what kind of decisions they make about routing and naming things and get familiar with like how other people do it and then you'll find like yourself working on these projects much more often which is what it's all about right fun and what i'm trying to do right now is find a nice sound to accompany this let's first just hear if it's if there are any timing problems Okay, now at the end there I kind of stumbled and that's because I wanted to put in a roll right at the end. Okay. Okay, so I've got an idea here. I'm going to take out these notes here and just insert a roll, which is the B flat note, which I discovered a minute ago. So let's put a B flat in there. Oops. Please let me just... Ah, okay. <laughs> kind of spazzing out here. Cool. There we go. That's cool, but it's a bit octave. The octave's a bit low, so let's take it up. Okay, let's just hear the turnaround, which is the last four bars. Three bars. Two, three, four. Okay, good. And then let's just do a little bit of manual, just a bit of manual work here. Trrr. Da, trrr, da, trrr. Okay, I'm gonna just switch this to bar to beat number two. One, two, 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 two. Da, trrr. Yeah, here we go. Da, 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 da. And then we'll leave a gap there for, you know, the end of phrase um, flourish. So sometimes, you know, uh, you think in layers with music when you're composing. You don't just try and fit everything into one instrument. Especially with percussion like this rhythm stuff, what I want to do is make sure I don't um, overdo it. Just a little bit, a little bit of everything. So let's hear how the conga sounds. 
can this can be an accompanying instrument so just to layer up on those drums so I'm going to play along obviously very tribal if you've got a chase scene happening in the forests of Zanzibar or just in Zanzibar the country in general too similar now I'm going to switch down the list to see if we can find something that's not so similar spoiled here we've got all these beautiful instruments like from all around the world <clears throat> now that works quite well so I play a bit of darbuka it's just a frame drum it's a metal very metal sounding frame drum super characteristic sound Middle Eastern and I'm looking for the most metallic sounding sample I can find it's that real like dang sound that kind of thing yeah that's it and then you use it very sparingly saying there uh, Martin I'll get back to you now just trying to record this part okay good there we go we'll take that back a little bit hard there yeah so you say so Martin says oh thanks I don't know that program sounds nice I'm more of a live artist than a studio guy already in the late 90s already in the 90s i learned i could spend hours making things polished but my studio sound often ends lifeless totally know what you mean there's such thing as overproducing or you know going too far if you're a live guy you should um well your setup you know you should prioritize the fact that you're used to grabbing a guitar or grabbing drumsticks and playing and the machine should be thought of as a means of documenting that talent as opposed to the creative tool itself your creative tool is your mind and your instrument the machine should just be thought of as a way to capture that that's the one end of the spectrum that's the one approach then you get the other approach which is the art of you know controllerism and sample librarianship and making sure that you're like one with the machine and that's where your creativity comes out and then you've got everyone in between I recommend that yeah, you just make a habit of it, you know, if you're if you're missing being in the music scene and all of that. Uh, don't be intimidated by by um, all these programs and what they can do. Like keep it simple. You'll find even what I do on this channel, even though I've got a, a pretty decent knowledge of, you know, these workstations, I don't use most of it. I just keep to the simplest stuff because that's where you actually get the work done. And if you look back through my live streams for the last three weeks, you'll see that I'm just delivering. I'm not faffing, I'm not sitting with one piece and nitpicking away for hours. I give myself one hour for a piece, and sometimes in an hour I get two or three pieces done. And it's about finding what sparks off that joy, you know, stumbling on it almost by um, just exploring and experimenting. So anyway, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, um, I appreciate the compliments. You said I love some of the stuff you heard me do. Thanks so much, man. That's why I do it. I do it for you guys. I do it for people like you who show up on a Wednesday or a Thursday. Where are you from? You sound like you've got a Dutch surname. Are you from the Netherlands? Not that it matters. I'm just interested. Here in South Africa, we speak Afrikaans, which is similar to Dutch. Just listening for one. Good. Good, that's fine by me. Now let's take this bottom row and quantize it quite heavily. So like 80-90%. Eighty, the reason for that is because that's an anchor note. So I want that dung to be a... That's it. And the rest of the top green notes are just kind of like additional. That's it. Cool. Uh, this is clashing a little bit. So I'm happy with that. 
getting into the rhythm details here fine but we've got a we've got something basic now i'm not going to let it get too much more complex than that we've got maybe just what is rain sticks let's try that uh, this is now if you want to go full jungle full tribal you start including that kind of stuff tamborica this is like a tambourine i think let us just change Zoom down here and see what exactly we're working with. I think it's like the skin of a tambourine. I like the timbre of it. It's it's filling the gap in this tune, which is you know a little bit um, could use like a like a like a slap. It sounds a little bit dirty. patch timbales that's what I was going for was it, was it yes that's what we're going for here you hear this a lot in sort of film nowadays these kinds of ethnic percussion hits Quite nice to be working in rhythm for a change. Usually, I'm working just in the. Uh, in the um... oh, Martin says no. I'm from Norway. Lived a couple of other countries. Okay, cool. Well, never been to Norway, but it sounds super rad. He, he says, "I love the music you did on that YouTube series. It really is mesmerizing." Thank you very much. Um, appreciate that. I'm not sure which YouTube series you mean. Do you mean just my live channel or what? Oh, on um, Fall of Civilizations, the podcast tune. Yeah, you've heard that one. Yeah. That's my tune, man. That um, piano number that I wrote years ago. It got used in uh, a podcast called Fall of Civilizations, which has got like <laughs> tens of millions of views now. So that's like people have bought that tune over and over and over. I've released the sheet music via my channel. It's one of my more popular ones. Super thankful that that worked out the way it did, you know, because I release a lot of music for free in public domain. And Paul from the channel was kind enough to not only use it, but notify me and link to me in the description of the, of the channel, which you don't really have to do technically when someone releases music as public domain. So that was kind of just a gracious act. And yeah, it's worked out well for me. A lot of people have written to me to say, your song has um, helped me through a difficult time or, you know, I played it for my wife when she was in hospital and like some really deep stuff, you know, and I'm glad that I can reach pe people on that level too, because this isn't just about getting patrons. It's about something that music, only music provides or only art provides, a connection. Yeah? So yeah, anyway, thanks. That's a whole bunch of waffle just to say I appreciate that, Martin. I don't think the timbales are working. And besides all of that, we do need to start thinking about what we're going to do melodically here. We can't just have rhythm. And now this bass line, I'm just going for the... I'm looking at the bass. It's this one, upright bass. Yeah, so this is the channel, this is the instrument we've got now. find a nice sample, maybe pump up the volume a little bit. Keeping with the jazz aesthetic, because this piece is all about that sort of style. Uh, let's see if it sounds any good with this piece, with the rhythm. is going to work in this. Let's try the electric bass. Still also. Mm. Oh, that's too much. Too much 
French rhythm. If this was a contemporary piece for a modern score, I would find a synth with an arpeggiator function. Just do 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 do. Let's see. Also, the melody we choose should be something like this dissonant tri tritones. So, and no syncopation, just straight on the note. There's this kind of tension just. starting to approach ear fatigue. I've done a bunch of music today. Uh, let's take a quick listen as a recap for the day's work. Here's a reunion. Sketch one. Skipped it. Here we go. Martin, um, music bass. Maybe if you want to join the rhythm congas thingy, short sustain. Just like a do. Maybe, yeah. Um, I think the problem isn't really the the pr the problem is that I'm trying to shoehorn. I'm trying to make. Sorry, let me just listen to this. That's a possible for something. I don't know what the. Yeah, so Martin says use the muted bass maybe if you want to join the rhythm congas thingy. Short sustain. Um, yeah, so to add a low frequency to the chase sequence is a good idea. Um, but I'm not sold on muted bass. We can try it. There is a way to do it. Watch this. Um, let's bring up bass palm, which is this library called Rickenbacker Bass. And there is a um, articulation for muted palm. Just gonna find it. Oh wait, it's an actual. I don't know where it is. It's it's actually under the. It's a separate instrument, is what I'm saying. Palm muted, there we go. Oh, so I've got it already, so it's not that. Let's just check. Nick. There's some different sounds. Pure DI. I'm going back now to see if we can. Oh, it's not it's not changing it primal privacy <laughs> that's the name of this one let's give it a bash hear it out oh yeah short sustain that's right i see what you mean for that suggestion not it might actually go this way I might actually end up using this so I appreciate that I see where you headed with that and I can't maximize this it's one of my problems with Reaper there we go now let's get 
give that 100% opacity. There we go. And 100%. There we go. That's too much. Yeah, just a little low pulse. Yeah. Now, just for fun, I'm going to take down the uh, ethnic percussion patch and just play a bit of piano on top just to kind of create the mood. Fast attack, short release, or what it's called. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to add a piano layer, but not a very prominent one, just a basic one. I keep on getting it recording from here, and it's not what I intend. It's because punch in record isn't on. There we go. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four. I feel like these bongos are a bit too much, maybe. Gotta just mix, mix them a bit better. Cool. I would be stressed if someone, so Martin says, I would be a bit stressed if someone had ideas and told me when I live stream. Feels very interactive to us on this end, though. Yeah, well, don't worry about it, man. I mean, there's only a couple of people who tune in every time, so it's, it's not like I'm at the level where I'm doing something so important that I can ignore the few people who show up, you know. And besides, your suggestion did actually help. The idea of thinking about sustain and attack and release it seems to be the way it's going. Okay, so that's definitely tension, danger, and it's the focus has been on, on rhythm today. But yeah, we're, uh, we're pretty much done for today. I've got to get upstairs and do family stuff. We'll be back again tomorrow, same time. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're into music production, new to it, check out the link in the description for free downloads of the templates that I make. And you can import them straight into your door, easy to use, uh, no missing files or dependencies. Show up for the streams, chat. As you can see, I'm very active with people who show up. So, um, yeah, thanks, Martin. Thanks for sh showing up today. And, David, I'm sure you were here too. You guys know where to find me. I'll be back again tomorrow. And I'm um, looking forward to making some more progress on this uh, 2D point-and-click adventure game score. Right now, focusing on, well, I consider it to be my weak spot, which is the rhythm, uh, rhythm chase, action, tension. Whenever I hear that in films, I'm like, oh, I've got to sit down and learn how to do that properly one day. Now's the day, today's the day. Gonna be, uh, yeah, showing up pretty much regularly. So, yeah, spread the word, share, chat, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in uh, 24 hours, 23 hours. <laughs> Thanks again for.